It is now possible to do the mock-up with the ITRO Design Suite. 3D printing mock-ups, as you all know, offers a great tool for clinicians, but also for patients. By providing a physical mock-up, very important when possible, we enable patients to see and feel a real-world preview of the future smile, treatment outcomes, and potential restorative designs. This hands-on experience enhances patients' understanding and engagement, ensuring that they feel confident and all the time informed about the treatment options. It is now possible to do the mock-up with the ITRO Design Treat. And there are two main ways to create these mock-ups. The first way is the click on mock-up. What is this mock-up type? These mock-ups are designed to be directly applied into the patient's dentitions. They serve as an immediate visual guide that helps patients and clinicians to quickly assess the potential changes. The second option that ITRO Design Treat is gonna give you is the classic mock-up models. These are models that replicate patient dentitions and proposed restorations. With a mock-up model, then you can transfer the designs into the patient's mouth using a silicon key in most of the cases. Again, case selection is key to be successful in this treatment. Next, I will demonstrate how we designed and print both options in our practice using 3D printing technology. I will walk you through the process step by step so you can add it into your clinical practice in a daily routine basis. First of all, we will go step by step in the click on mock-up phase and design with ITRO Design Suite. So as normally, we will click on the patients, ITRO Design Suite will log in and check in. We will have to review our order details. We have selected here from lateral to lateral to do the mock-up, material, and the parameters that we have already preset in ITRO Design Suite to be connected to our printer. So now that everything is ready, we can start the designing phase. We will open and click there. And the design seat again will pop up in our PC and will be ready to load all this information. So we have the patient's model here. We will start to select. You see how everything is selected in this area. So the software knows already that we are working in the mock-up model. We have some areas to block out if needed. We already select the four interiors in this case as a demonstration for, for showing you how this software is working. Here, very important also, you can choose and select if you want different libraries. Normally we like to move, but it really depends in the HD one, but this you will want to select. So you see here how easy when you click from one area to the other area, how it's gonna be preset the shapes and forms of this natural library to be adapted into your patient's mouth. As we all know this type of mockups is an additive technique, so we'll be overlapping the actual situation of our patients. Very important also, especially in terms of printing and after manufacture, manufacturing and staining and glaze, the connectors, if you play to think, they will be probably break after the uh, manufacture process. So this type of designs, the clip ohms, will really depends of the type of bite, insertion, and characteristics of the patient. So you will really need to be fine tuning and selecting which type of mock-up you can do, either this one or the second one that we will check by step, uh, by step later on. So now that we have pre-selected and we have re-adapted everything due to the positions that we want to modify, we click again and everything it has like an auto articulator. It doesn't really matter in this case because we know that everything is adaptive. It's not going to stay long times in the patient's mouth. And, and now you can take out some of the extra material because what we want to have in this case is some kind of snap on smile that will be adapted just to check with the patient's shapes, forms, and possible modification of the anatomy. From here, we will continue. We can again modify it, whatever we need. The software will adapt all the details. You can add free-forming, anatomic. We click the next part. 
and you see how the software has already separate from the model the shell that we will be ready to import in our software to be printed and manufactured in-house. So if we are done, we can click on next. So we save everything and it will happen the same as all the time. ITRO Design Suite, connection, a streamless connection with your printer. You have selected everything. You select the design that you want to check, bridge from 12 to 12. In this case, it's going to be our mock-up. We don't want to have the models in here. Software or the printer will pop up and the same story as we had shown before. We will have all the information codified here. You will select the printer and then here you have the shield ready to be printed. You will put the supports according to the best position to be sure that you don't modify the inner part of the printed restorations and selecting the right material. And we will show you after how these materials are finished and stained and glazed, glaze, selecting the materials that you can choose. So as you can see, this is a very easy to use a procedure step by step and it has some indications for patient communication and also to be sure that we can also either use these options or the model option for mockups. So now that we have already shown you how we can do a mockup with the clipped version, we're going to show you the second option that is the model option. So again, we will enter into the ITRO design suite and we will design a model, physical model to be printed and then do a silicon index to transport this information into the patient's mouth. So we will have the order details. We will start to check that everything is correct as usual and we will go into the model creator. Model creator then will open the design phase to connect the model with your design and make it physical in one only part. So we start with the same procedure, same steps. We will choose the options here. We can remove the antagonist. We put digital wax up ready to be integrated in this part. Digital wax up. We click next in this part. So now the model is going to be selected. We're gonna click also next in this part and the software will open the design phase and gonna start to give you a design from the tooth 12 to 22. You're gonna apply that. And this is more or less the steps that we have shown you before on the click phase. So the design is starting to be uploaded in the software. You will then select the areas to adapt from lateral to lateral, like in this case. And then you will choose the library. Like in this case, we're gonna choose the same that we used before, the HD library. We click next and we will now fine tune. Normally we like to remove the antagonist and do the adaptations into the buckle surface. Again, this will be like a motivational mock-up. It's an adaptive mock-up. It's gonna be a little bit over the anatomy of the patients we can place in advance. Like in this part, what we don't need is the connectors. We showed before that we need some connectors in the normal clip on. Here, we won't need the connector. We just to need to readapt a little bit the surface, the buckle surface of the central, the buckle central of the laterals, moving a little bit with your eye just to readapt and to see that everything fits in terms of shapes and forms that you want to be after adding into your patient's mouth again with the silicon index then you click next if you liked everything you will double check again and you will be ready to create a model physical model that will be uploaded again into your printer so you can see that it takes not so many clicks it's very automated you have different libraries we are choosing here to select a model we now have the final model ready to be uploaded in your printer. So if you like everything, you have the physical model, you are done, you save everything. And again, the same as we have seen through all the whole processes, your ITRO design suite will have a direct connection with your printer. You will select your printer. And of course, now you have to change the resin. You have to change from the 
restorative resin to the physical model. So you will select while well, the model base that you want to check, the model creator from 13 to 23, but we have the selection of the lateral to lateral. And now we open the preform in this case, and you will be selecting, you will check again, and then here you have the model. So again, all the steps are very automated. Everything is very clear. And this last part of ITO Design Suite with the mock-up option will give you two options. Clip on, you don't need a model, or if needed, you can go step by step using the same libraries to have a model and do the classic way with the silicon index, temporary material, and put in your patient's mouth for the mock-up and communication with them. First, when we are printing clip-on mock-ups, we use a restorative dedicated resin. The process here is really similar to what we do with our 3D printed restorations. So even though in our demonstrations we are showing just the customization process for printed restorations, you can follow the same steps with your 3D printer mockups to achieve great results. Now for model mockups, the process is a little bit different. We're printer standard model resin, so there's no need for extra characterizations. Since these mockups are transferred to the patient's mouth using the classic silicon key. That part of the process is not explained in the videos, as we believe that you know how to do this very classic familiar technique. All in all, printing mockups directly from ITRO Design Tweet is a great way to help patients to see what's possible and what to get them in the treatment plan. So we really encourage to start using this really nice development that we have incorporated in Design Suite. Mockups using shells or mockups using the classic way with the model and the silicon tray. Let's talk now about dental 3D printed models. I will briefly explain how 3D printing dental models and the versatility applications that we can have in our practice. What is a 3D printing dental model? We all know that, but it's a precise, real-world replica of patient dentition. With the ITOR Design Suite, these models that can be designed together with the bite prints, restorations, or just as a standard model. In our practice, we use them for many purposes, but one of them is patient communications. They provide a visual tool that can enhance patients' understanding and engagement, making it easier for patients to see and feel their dental conditions. ITRO Design Suite is very versatile, allow us to create various types of models, from simple models, maybe for the patients, to models with removable dyes for the restorative procedures, gingival mask, or different articulator attachments that you can use digital, but also in the physical world. Essentially, the software is capable of producing any kind of model as a doctor might need, offering endless possibilities for digital design and in-house production. Within our video series, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating digital dental models. So you will have different options of models alignment. We want to have, in these cases, like a separate die. It's also interesting to have it. So you will print both parts separately, the model and then the die. So you can select the two that have been prepped. So the software will automatically segment this area, clear the margins around the future model and future die. We can continue in this phase. And then here, you will see the insertion path that of the die that can have it. You can move this depending on your needs. This is pretty much straightforward and the software will detect everything. And then from here, everything again will be automated and will be generating the model on a very easy way. You see the lower, the upper. You can see here now how it's connected to your printer in this phase. Now that the software is transforming all this information here, you can see how the different models that you can adapt here. You can also 
that is interesting, you will be able to change with the different drain holes, different parts, cavities, or even you can even add text if you want to put in patient's name, your clinic name. So whatever, you will be able to add some text depending on the areas, okay? So that's something that you will be able to customize all the steps of the printing phase of models in this case after you have done the restoration. So now the software is doing some kind of calculations, especially when everything is set. When you are done, you can again click and you will save all this information and ITRO Design Suite, as we have seen before, will open the design suite and the connection with your printer and you will be able now to upload not the model but upload the model base and the model die upper lower and model die you will present and your printer software will upload again direct connection no needs of drag and drops and exporting files it will be very easy for you to use and then you will have to do your normal presets you have to choose the right resin that you want to choose for models you have to choose the printer that you have connected and with this workflow in the same software you will be able to design the restoration plus if needed design also a model like in this case with a removable die printed model is also a great first step for any practice looking to adopt in-house 3D printing workflows before moving to a more advanced restorative or appliance applications. So my recommendation is to start adding these ITRO Design Suite models to your daily practice so you can be slowly getting into how 3D printed world can give you a lot of benefits.